Hi, so I realized the last video I may not have may not have been able to see. Um, okay, so I'm gonna walk you through this. So you're gonna go to, first you sign in, and there's your sign in. Um, then you're gonna come on here and you're gonna come to Team Manager. You're gonna click on that, double click on it. Okay, and so right now it's saying uh, you're currently running team manager version there's a there's a most up there's an updated i'm not going to do it now because i don't have a good wi-fi connection but maybe you could do it so i'm going to do no and i'm going to cancel okay so you're going to come up here to athletes and the reason that we could not put any of the entries in yesterday was because I realized that there were no ages for your boys. You, you like, um, like the birth date never went in. Um, I think their year went in, but no ages. And so that's when we tried to do the age up. It wouldn't work. So um, I went back in and I gave everybody um, an age. If they were a freshman, I changed... Well, actually, I didn't do the freshman because I wasn't sure who was a freshman this year and who was a freshman la from last year. So what I did is just the, um, I, I did the sophomores. I made them juniors. I made them 17. Um, juniors, I made them seniors. And so, um, so now it will work for you. So what I'm going to do right now is you're going to come to team right here and you're going to do P-A-D-E. Originally, I made you guys this. Palm Desert High School because I thought that like those were like the call letters that you went by when you went to swim meets. But then when we went to La Quinta, this is what they had you listed to. So that's why I came back and changed it. So let so we're just going to stick with that. So your team is always going to be P-A-D-E. All right. And we're going to just do mail over here. And as you can see, everybody now has an age and we have that. And the only one that's not gonna have an age is um, Sawyer. I think, you know, like you'll look, let's see if we find here, right here. Because I'm assuming that he that he's a senior. So you can take him out. And, and anytime you have to do any kind of um, edits, you always come, I'm gonna click out of here. You always come to the athletes. So if you need to change their time, I'm um, not their time, sorry. If you need to change any information about them. So, and then of course, like you just double, double click on them. Okay, right now we have both. I'm gonna go back to, to mail and you just like, and again, we're gonna go to the team. So when it pops up and you see like so many names, you're like, oh, let me put those filters on so I have less. So like, like Dylan Burnett, you could just, and then this is where you make all the changes. And I would suggest when you have time to put their birth date in there, because then next year you won't have to um, change their school year, change their age, because it'll just go off of whatever date it is that year. And then it, then it will um, age them up. So that's why that part didn't work. Okay. So, and then of course, you know how to add, you know, edit. Um, now, since we're here, I'm going to go down to Carter. And again, you know that you can sort them this way. You know, okay, so I'm going to go down to Carter. I'm just going to click on him, highlight him. And I want to show you something. You can go results. Results are up here. And you click on results. And it will give all the results that Carter has. Okay, so this is all from last year. This one I just put in. For Beaumont, for Beaumont, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so now if you want to print it, just click on here, print, single athlete, and you can either do it um, splits, like if he was in a relay, you can do that, and you could just create the report, and it would look like that, and then you just print it out for him. Okay, so I'm going to close that out, though. Uh, come up here. Okay, and then we're going to close this out and close this out. Okay. And close this out again up here. All right, so now what we were trying to do the other day was the meets. So I went and I set up all your meets so that you have the right dates now. So we're gonna go to Beaumont that we swam. 
So you highlight it. Then you're going to go to results. And you're going to go by results by event. And the reason you're going to go to results by event is because you have to uh, key them in. It's easier just to look at the meet sheet that way. You can go results by name. So like if you need to just um, do one swimmer and you need to change something, you can do results by name too. And then that just finds them and, and, then, and then all the events pop up. So because we have to key it in, we're going to do results by event. Okay. Now, <clears throat> again, you're going to go to team and make sure that you have P-A-D-E. Um, and then you're also going to want to go up here, results for team P-A-D-E, because you need that to create um, relays. Otherwise, you can't put your relay events in. So I've already done it with this varsity. So you've got the relays here, but I'm going to show you how to make another relay. And I just made this time up, so you're going to have to go back and change it. And I just put these guys in and you're going to have to change it. So the way you do a relay is you go new final relay, but you got to make sure that you have this and this. And I'm going to make up a time. Um, two, 